A question came to me, why you should trust the Bible or what makes the Bible special or different from other religious books? I greet you all. My name is Lukoma Jonathan. If it is your first time, it's a great pleasure. You can visit my Facebook wall. There are a lot of videos that you don't have to miss. I'm going to share with you only three points why you should trust the Bible. Point number one, the Bible is not a one book. It is a collection of over 66 books which were written by over 40 authors who didn't live in the same generation but they lived in over 1,600 or 1,400 years. So many of them didn't get a chance to meet and agree over the information which they wrote. But after those years, when the information was corrected, it was not contradicting with each other. No any other book was written for over a thousand years to correct the information from different authors. Then point number two, and again on that point, you rather trust a book which was written by different authors in many years rather than trusting a book which was written by one person in one generation. We go to point number two. Point number two, the Bible was written from different continents. Like the book of Jeremiah, it was written from Egypt, that is Africa. And the majority of the books, they were written in Israel, that is Asia. And many books of the New Testament were written from some parts or cities of Europe. So, and after all, they collected that information no information was contradicting or is contradicting by each other. So I rather trust again the book which was written from different places, different societies, but speaking about same information. That implies that the author or the giver of that information is the same person or is the same God. So point number three and the last one, the most interesting point to me it is about the prophecy, the fulfillment of the prophecy, the fulfillment of the prophecy. When you go in the book of Isaiah, it foretold the coming Messiah or Jesus Christ over 700 years before he came. It talked about who will give birth to him, that is the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. It talks about how he will live his lifestyle, how he will die, how he will suffer the pain, how he, will, how he will resurrect and how he will ascend to heaven and how he will come back. And all those prophecies, they came to pass 100% track record. So I rather choose a book which has 100% prophecy fulfillment. And the last one which I can remember about the book of Daniel, it foretold about the nations which will rise and fall in their series or in their order. Like the, the country of uh, the, the nation of Syria, Babylon, Middle Persia, Greece, and Rome. All in their series, they are indicated in the book of Daniel and it happened in the same way. So I rather go with that book rather than other books which have no fulfillment of their prophecy. 100% track record. May God bless you. I'll be so glad if you share with me some of the evidences or what you know about uniqueness, how, how the Bible is unique to you. Put them in the comment section. I'll be so glad to read and understand or to get a new revelation from you. May God bless you. There are a lot of videos that are coming up soon.